Gerunds and infinitives in English. Hello, Brad. How are you? Hello. I am fine. What about you? I am fine too. It's quite a beautiful day today, isn't it? Yeah, right. But the forecast says it might rain tonight. Oh, I hope it won't. So, what are your plans after you finish teaching? Would you like to have a drink with me? That sounds great, but today is my birthday. My wife and I are going to have dinner at a French restaurant. Excuse me? I said it's my birthday today, and I have a date with my wife. Wow!、Well, happy birthday! I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. You want a duck? Oh, I can't get you a duck right now. No, no. I said thank you so much. Oh, sorry. I'm a little hard of hearing. Anyway, when does your class start? My class starts at 2 p.m. In which room do you teach? I teach in room 304. Oh, 305. What do you say? Huh? What is the date today? Uh. Never mind. So, what do you plan to do for the weekend? If the weather stays nice, I'd like to go to the beach with my family. Wow, that sounds nice. How about you? I and my girlfriend have decided to go for a picnic this weekend. Wow, where do you plan for your picnic? We've decided to go to Central Park, located right in the middle of Manhattan. Oh, good. All right, I have to go. See you later. See you later. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Mr. Brad! Wish you all the best. I wish you full of happiness and love. Happy birthday to one of the greatest people I've ever known. Ah,、oh, you guys make me so emotional. I can't believe you remembered that. Mr. Brad, we have a surprise for you. Oh, really? I can't hold my patience. Here is my present. Wow, a beautiful guitar. Yes, I saw you posted your broken guitar on Facebook, so I think you would love to have a new one. I love it. Thank you so much, Tom. You're welcome. And this is the present that Lisa and I have prepared for you. Ah,、oh, this shirt is so beautiful. Thanks very much. I will wear it out tomorrow. Glad you like it. All right, Mr. Brad. These are two present boxes that Jasmine and I have prepared. Wow. What are these two boxes? Can you guess? Well, I do not know. Open them. You will definitely love them. Oh my God! How do you know I like to drink apple juice? <laughs> It's a secret. Even these canned foods, all my favorite brands. I love to eat canned salmon and beef. Glad you like these presents. Okay, guys. After class is over, we'll all have a small party. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Well, let's start class. Okay, who remembers what we talked about last class? Okay, Duke. We learned about gerunds and infinitives in English. Very good. What are gerunds and infinitives with examples? A gerund is a verb that ends in ing and is used as a noun. Walking, traveling, voting. An infinitive is the base form of a verb preceded by to. Such as to walk, to travel, to vote. Gerunds and infinitives can be used as the subject, the complement, or the object of a sentence. Exactly. Is there a case in which verbs are followed by a to infinitive or ing, and the difference in meaning is often small? Hate, like, love, and prefer can be followed either by ing or a to infinitive. Good job. All right, let's check your homework. Have you done all your homework yet? 
Sorry, Mr. Brad. I forgot to do my homework. Does anyone else forget to do homework? Sorry, Mr. Brad. Yesterday we had a small party and we all forgot to do our homework. Hmm. I feel very disappointed. On behalf of the class, I deeply apologize, Mr. Brad. Since all of you haven't done your homework, I will let you stay here after class to finish it. No, Mr. Brad! The class will end at 5 p.m. instead of 4 p.m. as usual, okay? Yes. Then, to ensure the quality of today's lesson, I will collect everyone's cell phones, including mine. Oh no! Duke, put these phones in the locker in the hallway. Okay, Mr. Brad. Please, come in. Well, I heard someone at the door. Do you hear that? Yes, I do hear it. It's so strange. Let me see. Oh my god. What's wrong, Mr. Brad? Why is the door locked? What? The door is locked? Yes. Sid! Sid! Are you out there? Mr. Brad, everyone seems to have left. What must we do now? God, we're going to be locked up here. We don't even have a phone to contact other people. Calm down, everyone. We will find a way out. But the English Center will reopen on Monday. Does that mean we'll be locked up here for three days? Surely my mother would be extremely worried. Listen. Listen. Everyone, we need to be calm. We have to think of a way out. What should we do now? How to get out of a locked room? Should we break the door? But we have nothing to break the door. You're right! Or maybe we jump from the window? What? Are you crazy? Do you know what floor we are on? Fourth floor. So what? Jumping off is dangerous. Falling from a four-story window can cause death or serious injury or break your leg. It's hard to find a way out. Yeah, there is no other way. I don't want to be locked up here. We will starve. No, we have food and drink. Remember Jasmine and Duke's presents? We have me, a box of apple juice, and a box of a canned foods. Oh, that's right, I remember. Very lucky indeed. At least we'll have enough food until Monday. All right. In the meantime, do you guys want to play a game? Sure. Sure. I love playing games. Me too. What are we going to play? Word matching game. Can you explain in more detail? Okay. This is a game to review old lessons. For example, if I said avoid, you would have to answer verb, ing, or to verb, and then give an example. Do you guys understand the game? Okay. The first word is enjoy. Enjoy is followed by verb, ing. And my example is, I always enjoy cooking. Well done. All right, the next word is promise. The verb is followed by an infinitive. I promise to do my homework. Great. Well, another word is try. Try can be followed by an infinitive form. No, try followed by verb ing. Well, both are correct. Why, Mr. Brad? Try is a special verb in English because it can be followed with either a gerund or infinitive. However, the meaning changes. The meaning changes? Yes, let's see two examples. I tried calling her, but the line was busy. And I tried to call her, but the line was busy. I tried calling means he thought phoning might be the way to do it. I tried to call means he made an effort. Well, so the difference is very small? Try doing is experimenting with doing. Try to do 
is about making an effort. Oh, I get it. Now, who wants to sing a song? It's eight o'clock now. Yeah, all of our plans failed. I plan to have dinner with my girlfriend tonight. This weekend, we also arranged to go on a picnic together. But now I'm stuck here. This weekend is my niece's birthday. I have prepared many presents for her. I plan to go out with friends. And I plan to go shopping. And now we're stuck here. That's bad. Mr. Brad? Yes, what's up? I need to go to the toilet. Oh no, what do we do now? This is a difficult problem to solve. Everyone, be quiet. I heard footsteps in the hallway. Really? Yeah, there's definitely someone out there. We are in here! Help us! Help! We're, We're here. here! We're, We're stuck, stuck in room 304! Help us! Why are you here? You locked the door and accidentally locked us. Oh, I deeply apologize for locking the door. I think classes are over. Well, we study an extra hour. Oh well. But Sid, why do you go back to the center? Well, I forgot to bring home the lunchbox. Anyway, luckily you opened the door for us. All right, everyone, let's go home. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Mr. Brad, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, I will check the other rooms to see if anyone is locked inside. Okay. Oh, Sid, I forgot my birthday present. I'll go back to the clapbus room to get it. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go home. What? Oh, no, no, no. Sid! 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 Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye!